It's double XL prime time. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Wei Jiang Commander. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, yeah, we have a pretty cool piece of artwork there of Commander, aka Optimus Prime. On this side of the box, it says Commander Model Series. On this side of the box, we just have the, uh, the, 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 the warning! Please don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. Bloody, bloody. On the top of the box, Commander. On the bottom of the box, things and stuff that I cannot read. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. And you have a bio if you want to read it. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Commander, and this is an upscaled knockoff of the studio series Optimus Prime. And uh, it's a very well done knockoff. A knockoff nonetheless, but a very well done knockoff. And as you can see here in the truck mode, the uh, paint job is gorgeous. I love it. Looks just amazing in my personal opinion. Well, let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. Let's see that front grille looking really nice, done the, uh, like a gunmetal gray. Looks quite good. The paint job on the hood here is just fantastic in my opinion. That just looks gorgeous, gorgeous. Got nice chrome there for the rims. Got some nice paintwork going across the top here as well. You even got the little, little lights here also picked out in some metallic blue as well as the lights up top also picked out in a metallic blue. Got some more chrome going down the sides there. He does have uh, taller smokestacks than the Studio Series version. You'll see that when I bring the other one in for comparison. But yeah, they actually gave him some taller smokestacks so it looks a bit more, uh, a bit more natural there. In the back, you can see his big old feet back there. Yeah, got the chrome rims. There's the back. There's the top. There's the bottom. Uh, it does have rubber tires, which is a nice thing. It rolls as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. So, there you have that. Now, for comparison, here it is with the Masterpiece movie. Optimus Prime. You can see how those two scale. Here it is with the Revenge of the Fallen Leader Class Prime mold. So you can see how that works out in pretty much the same size, maybe slightly bigger, slightly bigger, but pretty much the same size as the Revenge of the Fallen Leader Prime mold. Here it is with MP10. So you can see how that works out. Here it is with the Weijiang Upscaled Evasion Mode Prime. So you can see how that works out. And here he is with the original Studio Series Voyager Optimus Prime. And you can see just how much they upscaled this figure. And as you can see, the knockoff does have the taller smokestacks. And they did redo the, uh, the feet in the back here. These, have, uh, these are die cast and are remolded from the original. But yeah, you can see uh, just how much they inflated this guy. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include his swords, which are done in a nice silver and the blade painted in gold. Looks quite, quite nice in my opinion. So you get two of those, and of course they store just as they did on the original toy. You have the tabs here and the slots back here. And you can just take the swords and just plug them in. And voila, there is your storage for the swords. And you do also get an optional pair of completely transclearance orange swords as well. So hey, you got options, and as always, options are good. So hey, you got the option of having the painted swords or the totally clear swords. Hey, maybe you could take these and 
you know, plug them up here or something. Okay, you can't plug them up here. No, they don't fit because we have the bigger smokestacks. I could do that on the original, but not this one. Okay. Well, boo, boo, you can't make me do the funny thing that I was going to do. Boo, boo, I hate this toy now. I hate it. I hate you, toy. I hate you. That's not true. I love it. I love this thing. I love it. I love it. But anyway, that is it for the vehicle mode. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? Let's so. We need to just remove the swords, put them off to the side for now. And we shall begin. Now this transforms just like the Studio Series Prime, so you're not going to see anything different here, really. So we just take these side tanks and just untab them and bring them up. Untab, bring them up. And then we take these wheel sections here, unpeg those, and just collapse all that back into the legs like so. Untab, swing all this back, like so, and then we can take the shoulder pads here and just swing them up. That will allow us to take this whole lower body assembly, bring it down, and that will lock into place. And now we can transform the legs if you want to, just untab it here, and there are also a couple of hook tabs on the feet here that you have to pull this side up, you can see. Oh, that works, just little T-tabs there. So pull this side upward to unlock the legs. And once we do that, we can just take this section here and just rotate it around and flip the foot out in the process, like so. Take this wheel and just unclip it, and bring it up. It will thoop into that position up there. Take the section, flip that down, and we have a leg all done. Second pass, just like the fast. So just there we go, flip that around, flip, 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 unclip, bring that up, bring that down, and we can readjust his knees, and there you have the legs all done. So now we will move on to the upper body. Just got a bit of a gir truck going on there. Then we just come back here, just undo all of this just pop this out pop pop come, come. things do hold on quite securely on this toy i will say there we go just undo that bring that up take these panels and just bring them out to the side you can do what you want with these me i just like to kind of angle them like so but as always your toy do what you want with it so once we have that done we will start working on the side section here. So you just want to take these sections and just bring them forward. Those will tab over the side view mirrors. Just swing that around. Tab that in like so. Take these sections here, pull them out. Take this, pull that out. And just kind of get all this out here. You want to take this back panel here, bring that down. Untab that so we can then flip out the head. So just rotate all this to reveal the head. Like so. And once we've done that, we can come back here and finish what we were doing. So these two panels just interlock right in the center, like so. And then these sections just fold back on top of them, like that. And we got that a little bit done. So now we come to the front grill, and you want to separate that. When I did the JTI, this would not come apart. I had to use my spudger to get in there to pry these pieces apart. Thank God, it was nice to me this time. But anyway, undo those sections there. Just bring that out, and just swing that around. Bring that to the back. I'll just tab in right back there, hold it in place. And just bring it out, swing it around. And tab that in, and now we can just take the backpack, bring that down like so, and we are at the home stretch. So now we just split this front section, if it hasn't done so for you already, and uh, just unclip all of this, and we can work on the arms. So just bring the arm down, 
And then we just take this panel here, just bring it to the side, bring that back, bring down the hounds, and this will just wrap around. We can rotate the arm with the bicep, and there are tabs that will go into slots right up in there to hold that in place, which I believe the original did not have. So that's a little added thing they did there. And then we just bring that down, down and back, and the back, and just rotate this around, swing that around, and tab that in like so. And then we just untab these sections here, untab these sections, and just bring these sections out on those hinges. Then we bring this up, and there's a tab that will go right in here to hold all that in place. And then we just swing this back, and these will just tab in right there on either side, nice and secure like. And then we just bring the arms down, and the last thing we do is just rotate his waist around. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Woo! On. And there you have Commander in his robot mode. And he looks gorgeous. Looks gorgeous. I absolutely love this. Very cool. Very cool. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin. And very nicely done head sculpt. Wonderful paintwork. Love all the silver. That is on the face there. That looks marvelous. You can get a little bit of gold there on the sides. Looks really good. Again, got a really nice paint job going on. Got the flames there. You got some gold in there, along with all of that nice silver. You get the blue, you get a nice metallic red there. Just looks gorgeous overall. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. You can see some more little details picked out. In gold, right there, right there. Looks good. So good. So good. Of course, he has the same kind of weird backpack, which you can kind of, you know, make look a little bit better by just collapsing it up a little bit. You know, helps a little bit. Kind of cleans up the, uh, the silhouette there from the front. So, you know, totally up to you what you want to do with the backpack there. Yeah, but all in all, looks great. Now, articulation-wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint, so you have all that wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly, on the prime, what you gonna do about it? You can look up a good bit, look down, head can rotate, of course, that piece behind his head only allows that much range of movement, but that's pretty much more range than it needs anyway, so you get good range of movement there at the head, arms can do a full 360, can go in and out, a nice ratchet, and as you can see, those shoulder pads will move out of the way to accommodate that. Yeah, bicep rotation. Ratcheted elbow there with 90 degrees of a bend. You have wrist rotation. You have ratcheted waist rotation. Legs can go forward that far, back that far. Again, on a nice ratchet. Outward that far. Again, all ratcheted. You do have thigh rotation. Over 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. Again, all on nice ratchet joints. And the fates, they can move up, they can move down, and you have your tiltage there. And of course, if you want, you can give him his sword. You can give him either the uh, painted ones or the totally transparent ones. Totally up to you. Me personally, I do prefer the painted ones. They just connect the same way, they just peg right into his hands from underneath. There you go. You can slash, 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 slash. So you can have that going on if you wish, and if you want, you can also store them on his back. We'll use these. Yeah, if you want the swords stored on his back, you can totally do that as well. Hey, it's a thing, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. Again, works just like the original Studio Series Prime. And the last accessory that is included is an optional face. So as usual, you can have them either with the mouth plate or without the mouth plate. So there is the 
mouth plateless face right there. Again, nicely painted. And to swap out the faces is easy. You just have to go uh, behind his head here. Just undo that one screw on the back of his head. Pull out the old face. Pop in the new face. And if you want him without the mouth plates, you can have him without the mouth plate. Totally up to you. What you want to do, it's an option. And as always, options are good. So there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with mp10 so you can see how that works out there and as you can see larger than mp10 here he is with the revenge of the fallen leader prime mold it's a dark of the moon version but it's the revenge of the fallen leader prime mold so you can see how that works out here he is with the masterpiece movie optimus prime my knockoff version anyway but the same mold. So you can see how that works out. Here it is with the upscaled Evasion Mode Prime. And he's actually a little bit shorter. A little bit shorter there. Than the upscaled Evasion Mode Prime. And here he is with the upscaled Last Night Megatron. So you can see how those two look side by side. And last but not least, here he is with the original Studio Series Optimus Prime. And again, you can see just how much they upscaled this guy. Obviously, the differences in the paintwork, but yeah. They took this mold and made it all kinds of big and all kinds of shiny. So there you have the Wei Zhang Commander. You know, it's a knockoff, but it's a really well done knockoff uh, quality-wise. Everything on this feels good, feels solid, feels sturdy. So from a quality standpoint, I have no complaints whatsoever. This figure feels good. Love the paint job on it. I think it looks gorgeous, in my opinion. So yeah, very pleased, very pleased with this figure. So there you go. Now I picked this up from a TF Direct. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below. For all your other Transformers needs, you can check out BigBadToyStore.com. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. You can also check out my knockoff Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description and down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Wei Jiang Commander. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Boom in your face! Prime! Prime! Oh! What's happening here? Something is not right. What's going on? Why are you so large? What are you talking about? I've always been this size. It's perfectly normal. This is not normal! You are huge! It's not... This is not right at all. Listen, Ratchet. Come here. Come here. Everything is fine. You just need a nap, old friend. I do not need a nap. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, little Ratchy. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, little Ratchy. Boo! I'm feeling a little disrespected right now, Prime, and I will... <sighs> There you go, that's a good little ratchet.